Be you, you know, I know it's, 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 it's like, it's cliche, you know, don't be someone you're not. And, you know, I, was, I used to think that was complete bullshit back then. I was like, oh, you know, girls aren't going to go for, you know, the, the, like the truth. Because, you know, how girls are, but it's true. Yeah, I mean, they would rather have, like, the truth rather than you trying to be somebody you're not. And then when they expect you to be the person that you're not and you don't deliver, then they're going to drop you. Oh my god, oh my god, Timmy, Timmy, I just got robbed by a homeless guy. A homeless guy? Yeah, it's, oh my god, is he still there? Yeah, yeah, he's still there and everything. Oh my god, I've been hearing that homeless guys have been robbing everybody left and right out here. We need to get out of here, vanish, zoinks, Jesus. Timmy, Timmy, wait. I thought you were going to protect me. I thought you were a bad boy. Oh. I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, hell yeah, you know, you know, if, if he ever come up to me, you know, he was looking at me funny, I'll give him one of these, you know, I, you know, he don't even, he don't even know who we messing with, you know, I don't even know who I'm messing with, that's so much of a bad boy I am, so I'm about to, here, 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 move, baby, I'm about to get out on the, out of here right now, but, ooh, hey, limber up a little bit, all right, here comes, here comes, here comes, you know, you know, for real, though, you know, for seriously, though, you know, you, you need to call the police, but, you know, but, you know, I'm not even scared of the police, because, you know, the police don't get here, you know, five minutes or so, Shoot, man, I don't even, I won't even care. So I'm just gonna, you know, receive it all. I don't see you dialing the number. Come on, I'm about to. All right, oh, yeah, okay. Oh my God, I'm about to get my ass kicked. All right, okay, sir. Um, I, I have to tell you something. I, I, I'm not much of a fighter. Actually, I bruise easily. My favorite subject is math, and I, I really need you to stop harassing my friend over there and give me back her purse. Because, okay, sir, I understand, but you need to take your hands out of your pants. I don't, it's a, it's inappropriate. Please, okay, don't put your fingers in my mouth. Okay, sir, please, please put the sock down, sir. Please, I, please don't, ah, oh, man! Loser. So spare yourself the embarrassment. Lies always come out, no matter what. Slip of the tongue, or your friends. Mostly your friends. Hell yeah, you could be... Talking about, you know, oh, I got this Mercedes Benz. Um, talking about how you like to, you know, conduct these street races with all your friends, and then somehow all of a sudden it turns into I like ponies, and you, you find out that you're actually, you actually like ride horses on stables and stuff, and she might not like that. So you, you just gotta be truthful, be honest, like confidence and honesty. Because girls hate liars too. Don't, Ooh, no one, you, do don't we lie. know? Do we know a couple of those? I don't want to be like, oh yeah, you know, I ride, I race horses and stuff. You know, girls, you know, girls like horses. It's all good. Um, they they might find interest in, might find have an interest in that, which means she'll have an interest in you. But what you should not do is talk about, you know, cars and then find out that oh, I'm actually into horses. Yes. Because that'll that'll ruin your relationship. Okay, and I want to go into the next category, bad boy. This whole mis misunderstanding about bad boys. Attention bad boys, if you are not naturally a badass or do not possess the essential characteristics of one who is, this lifestyle is not for you. The loss of a woman from false badassiness could result in loneliness, confusion, depression, stockiness, diarrhea, homosexual consideration, and a greater chance of testicular cancer. Those with heart problems, glasses, or lack of style should consult their doctors before taking on such a quest for booty. But with all jokes aside, if you feel you need to partake in a bad boy lifestyle, always keep this in mind. Do. Not. Overdo it. Timmy, I just got done making our dinner reservations at the Olive Garden. We're gonna have a good time tonight, huh? Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna have a good old time. Oh, I hope you don't mind, I'm bringing a couple of my friends. Friends? I didn't say anything about bringing any friends. Oh, it's only a couple of them, it's okay. Well, what are they gonna have? Well, I think they start off with a little bit of, uh, what, are they gonna have a, a smacky meal with a side of slap? Because that's what they're about to get. I heard it's hot right now, fresh even. I knew a guy who had it, he didn't like it. Baby, why are you acting this way? Because, baby, it was supposed to be you and me and nobody else. Romantic evening. That's how I like it. That's how I roll. I don't want to hit no lip. But it's just it's just two friends. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. Look, you tell your friends that if they coming, you ain't getting water. But the water's free. 
I don't care if the food is free. They ain't coming. Baby, why are you acting so ridiculous? I mean, I made the reservations, and now you're going to come and tell me that I can't have water? I mean, it's free. Bitch, so was a hand slap, but I don't see you making dinner reservations for that either, now do I? God, you're so hurtful. <laughs> oh, wait, baby, no, oh, but baby, wait, no, baby, please, wait. I'm a nerd, I, I just have been hiding it back, I love math, I play World of Warcraft, I like girls that don't like me. Oh, back up, back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nice guys finish last. Not true. Whoever came up with this quote did not look everywhere around the world. They must have been looking at one school. I don't know who gave this person this quote, but it's just not true. I mean, I've seen a lot of guys' friends who are like nice, and they got like they give women like. I think it should be shy guys finish last. Because no, that's, that's what is what's really killing the the nice guys out there. <laughs> It isn't because they're if they're too nice. No, girls girls love nice people. They don't want a dickhead. I mean, I mean, like for the most part, you know. I mean, like a real woman, not like these high school cheerleaders that have STDs up the ass. No, I'm talking about the real down to earth women who are looking who are looking for something real, you know. And she's not gonna find that in, in Brett or Brick or, or Brad or whatever something like that. You know, the the, the, the hardcore the, jocks. The jocks, because they don't have what we got basically. Gee, my friend always told me he was like. You know, you might not, at the end, be the guy the women might not date, but you will be the guy they want to marry. And trust me, you want that. You want this. It's like, about the long run. Let me t you want this, because in the long run, let me tell you, I'm just saying, jocks end up. They usually end up as the person who's doing their trash coming by in the street. This is just from most part what I've seen. Or they're a cop. And they, these... I'm not saying, I'm not going out on jocks, it's just the fact that some of these jocks don't know what they w uh, want in life. They really don't. They only see football or basketball. It's and sleazy women, because that's all they're used to, because the women are always interested in the jocks, because, you know, they're part of the football team. I want to be, you know, I want to date the quarterback, because he's got power, you know, everyone's got to look at me, because I'm going to, because that's going to be my ticket to popularity. It's and then that's what fucks those cheerleaders up for long, and that's what fucks the jocks up, because in their mentality, they get to college, and it's the same old shit over and over again, but then eventually it wears thin, because Real life becomes smarter. kicks in hard. Reality college is about finding your career. And finding if, yourself. If you're sure that your football career, I'm just saying, if you're sure, if there's any, like, little doubt that it's not going to carry you all the way, you might want to try to find a real job. You need to find a real woman, too, because... If you're with those superficial women who are only in in for in to you for the popularity and for the for the fame or whatever, as soon as you fumble that ball, they gonna fumble you. Thanks. Okay, so <laughs> you gone. You gone. You out of there. I mean, no it's, on, it's, it's 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 on to the next you know tall black dude on the basketball team. You know Tyrone is about to get all up in there. Man's test in life is to get a woman. True statement. Biology teaches you this. You need to reproduce. And a woman's test in life is to test a man. If you can't bring home the paper, who the hell do you think she's gonna she's gonna wait for you? <laughs> Maybe the true blood woman, I mean the woman who really, really loves you, loves you, will wait there, but for the most part, some women they need a supporter. They don't want their like husbands sitting at home looking over their old football videos. Yeah. That's probably why the Women usually in the beginning in high school to take, take the jocks out only because you know they're winners. You want a winner. No one appreciates the loser. That's how life is, that's how cruel it is. It's just basic. The, the um, being a nice guy thing, because you know there's always been controversy about that. You know, why the nice guy is always, you know, not getting the girls. And like I said, it's all about being, you know, shy ass was like, that's what's like fucking you guys up. Hey, Petey. Oh, here she comes. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, uh... Hey, Petey, uh, I had nothing to do on Saturday. I was wondering if you wanted to come out and go, you know, for lunch. I... Oh, man. God, the new game came out tomorrow. What do I do? Listen, um... I can't? I'm 
even got the homework to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, no, I mean, it's okay. Wait, I, I, I really want to, please. Because it's like, you know, they wait too long to tell the girl that they're interested in them. <coughs> and then they fall into this, this friend zone that the people oh, are talking about. That big hole. And people, they always fear that. As far as I'm concerned with the, the friend zone, it to me to me it doesn't exist. That's just that's just that's just me. It doesn't it doesn't really exist to me. It's just like they're either into you or you or, or they're not. If you if you want if you like a girl and you ask her out, you know, and she says no, then she says no. I mean, it's not like you guys are oh we're too we're too much of a we're, we're like too friendly. No, because you guys in order to have you know a sound solid relationship, it needs to be based off of. You know, previous engagements. You know, we, we like to hang out and we're comfortable with each other. We're, you know, close enough. Like we're close enough as it is to be friends and close enough as it is so we can be, you know, like lovers. We can be intimate. It's all good. But the the nice guys always seem to hesitate when it comes to expressing their emotions towards them. You know, and you kind of think, oh, I don't want to put any pressure on her. You know, I respect her too much. I don't want things to get awkward, and if things, if she does, if, if she does take it too awkwardly, then our friendship it might be over. You know, roadblocks. It's just yeah, it's just these obstacles you you make for yourself. And uh, though I mean, though those possibilities are there. I mean, don't get me wrong. There, I mean, they they are there. It's possible that can happen, but I wouldn't go in thinking like that. That's not the right mentality. You to talked have. about that at the beginning. Assumptions. You can't go in. You can't assume. I mean, you, you, a girl could even like act like she's not into you at all, and in the end, in the end, she could be downright in love with you. You never know until you, until you try. Yeah, she, I mean, like he said, like a girl could be into you. Like even if she's not giving you the signs, if you see something you like, you gotta go get it. <laughs> you can't, you can't wait. Eventually, that flower's gonna die. You gotta get it while it's still beautiful. And by the way, women aren't items. Like you, go get it, but don't treat it like it's an item. <laughs> Yeah, just that's little thing that I put in there. That quote. Go get it, but don't treat it like an item. They're not trophies, people. Mark, you gotta have like a base like to like someone. It's not like willy nilly I like I love her, I like her, I love that one, I love this one. No, you gotta like keep focus on what you want. Like you wanna date somebody, date someone that you know you're gonna have fun with. Date someone that you know personally you can actually enjoy like, your time with. Too many guys go out with girls that just for the hell of it. It's, That's right. It's I don't care. Disgusting. I don't care how I don't care how good the sex is. I mean, I don't care if the guy fucks you and then diamonds come out of your vagina. No, I you it, <laughs> that eventually. Actually, it sounds kind of good. That will run out. You know, it's money. Money doesn't last forever. Nothing lasts forever. But you know, you want to have the type of relationship where 